This hack tip is brought to you by Jack Threads. Georgia, I'm so delighted to see you again. Last time we were talking, it was at ShmooCon, and you gave an excellent presentation about botnet command and control, taking over Android phones. Uh, what's changed since we last spoke? Well, since we last spoke, I've actually added a lot more from not just botnet command and control, but just spying on people on their phones. You know, people keep everything on their phone, probably yeah. taking over their computer a pretty bad thing, but taking over their phone would be even worse. Oh, absolutely. I find that the, the, the private information that I keep on my phone versus my computer absolutely leaps and bounds different, yeah. Right. So the same way that I was able to do command and control at the base operating system for smartphones, I can steal their information. Again, the trust model really just breaks down there, whereas applications are in a jail down at the base operating system of the phone as traffic is going in and out, going to the modem it's kind of broken down in the security model and you're able as root to get anything you want. Now, uh, that, that's still like, is it still iPhone or, I'm sorry, is it still Android specific or, or is it iPhone as well now? I've started to work on the iPhone, yes. I, I finally got one, so nice. it's the same sort of deal. Now, recently there's been uh, a lot of, uh, just a few incidents of like apps in the marketplace that, that like Google finally has to use like that kill switch where, you know, uninstall the app, and, and, and you know, remove uh, applications from the marketplace. Is that still the best vector of attack that you've found? I definitely think that is the best way to get people originally infected with any sort of malware. Because really you see, whereas in the computer world, we're getting a lot of user awareness of people knowing they shouldn't just go out to the internet and download everything that looks cool because they might be infected. But that's the way smartphones are marketed. Yeah. Buy our phones because we have better apps. Yeah. So everyone goes out and buys whatever they want from me. App Store, because that's what they're told to do. They're never told that this is going to harm them, and it really can. And, but if you've got a, uh, you know, a Android Live wallpaper of Super Mario Brothers, I mean, it's, it's going to need access to your text message log and your phone calls, right? Well, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and there's no way that I've seen to just go ahead and prevent each of those, like, oh, install the app anyway, but don't give it access to X, Y, or Z. There has been some research in that area, but I haven't really seen anything that is definitely foolproof. Really, you have the choice of don't install the app. I've seen things like that with apps that I just want, and it needs access to phone calls or something, and I'm like, well, but I really need the app. I know, so even the, I, yeah. who definitely know what could happen, it just becomes a really hard trade-off. Nice. And as far as the command and control, you're still using SMS? I am. I love the text messages. And, and why, again, is that? Well, originally it was because I was doing a project to stop myself from drunk texting. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, can we get that? Can I get that code? Sure, anyway. <laughs> yes. Um, I was originally making an app for that, so I was trying to, I was already working with SMS, and then just in the research I had done for that, it occurred to me that this would be a really good vector for it. It, it, uh, it you know, since it queues instead of, I've seen stuff that's triggered by a phone call, but since this, if it fails, it'll come back in, if say you're in the tunnel, but I go over the GSM or CDMA modem because whereas IP for your phone, it really runs down the battery, particularly on your Androids. Oh, okay. So like just one ping keep alive could take down like 3% and users might notice that because it's already a problem with the batteries. Yeah, la last thing you want to do is, is, you know, install a rootkit that's going to kill the phone's battery because then, you know, no good. Now, um, as far as the, the rootkit is concerned, is this like a framework that people can go and download and start playing with? Yes, I it actually I haven't been able to put it out for all platforms because at base operating system level things are kind of platform specific. But every kind of phone I have, I try and put out some proof of concept for it. They can go to my website germnoobs.com and it's there. All right. Well, thank you so much, George. Thank it's you been for a having me again. With you again. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, or Stussy, then listen up. You can score premium street, skate, and surfwear brands up to 80% off every day at jackthreads.com. There's normally a wait list, but we've got the hookup, so sign up for free at jackthreads.com slash hack5 and start saving instantly without having to leave the house. That was a pathetic clap, but... You know, it still sure beats buying a clapboard for $100.